All right, what's going on everybody? Hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing a fragrance by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is Le Mal Elixir. So this is the one we all know about. It's been getting a ton of hype. It was released last year, but everybody already likes it, especially on TikTok. You hear all the, uh, all the young kids are talking about Le Mal Elixir. And so I figured I'd pick up a bottle of it. Uh, this one is a 100 mil, and I got this one from Joma Shop. Uh, of course, I'll always, you know, I'll throw links in the description if you're interested. Um, but I picked this one up at Joma Shop. I think it was like 130, uh, so about 130 bucks. But I know you can get a 50 mil for cheaper. I just I figured I would get a full bottle. So yeah, so this was made by Quentin Bish, uh, is the perfumer. So he did other stuff like Le Mal Le Parfum. He did Scandal. He was working on uh, One Million. Um, he did Good, Good Girl by uh, Carolina Herrera. So a lot of great fragrances from him. It comes in this sort of a strange tin can container, just like all the other Le Mal series. And it scores really well on Fragrantica. I mean, this thing gets a 4.56 out of five. So everybody's been really, uh, you know, reacting positively to it. We're gonna check it out together, okay? All right, so let's open the container and here is what the bottle is gonna look like, okay? Uh, so you take it out of its little holder here and it looks like a little dude. So the glass itself is actually an amber color and the rest of it is a ribbed glass. Great presentation, very unique presentation. All of the Lamal ones look like a guy, uh, like a male figure. And then it comes with this little puller ring that you take off when you first give it a spray because there's no actual cap. It's just a bare crimp right here, okay? But I think it looks classy, even though there's no crimp color. I think that looks cool. It's got its little puller thing that you can collect. So I think that's very cool. So yeah, let's get, let's get a good look at the atomizer and uh, its action here. Okay, so I believe that's a pressurized atomizer. It's, it's hard to tell. It's in between being a really, really good regular atomizer with a, um, like an adjustable spray amount, a good spring in there, uh, and between being actually pressurized. So I'm not sure, to be honest with you guys. I think it might just be a really, really good atomizer. Strength-wise, wow, I can smell it from here. Amazing, ambery, vanilla-heavy fragrance here, okay? Immediately, I like it. This is one of those ones where you smell it and you immediately, it, it just captivates you. So the notes behind this fragrance are top notes of lavender and mint, kind of going that same direction as the other Lamal fragrances, you know, they got that lavender, and then middle notes of vanilla and benzoin, which is funny because vanilla and benzoin are usually base notes um, because they're heavier molecules, you know, ethyl vanillin and vanillin. And then base notes of honey, tonka bean, and tobacco. So you definitely get the honey, you definitely get the tobacco, some of that sweet tonka bean, it's mixed in there with the vanilla. So that's all really, really good. And you actually do get some of the benzoin, some of that resinous notes to it. Yeah, you definitely get the lavender in the top notes. I'm not sure how much you're gonna be able to pick out the mint. You get a little bit of mint, just, just in the opening though, just in the opening. A little bit of mint, it mixes well with the lavender, uh, you know, because they both have kind of those almost camphoraceous notes to it. Uh, some of those terpenes, right? Excellent fragrance. I mean, it's very well blended. This is definitely leans towards sort of a uh, masculine fall winter fragrance though, because it's so heavy on this, like these sweet notes on the honey, on the vanilla that tonka bean, you get a little bit of the tobacco and that pushes it, the tobacco and lavender pushes it more masculine. So again, Le Mal is still very masculine. So this is not a unisex fragrance, but wow. I gotta say, I'm, I'm very impressed. And I had smelled this before in Macy, so I knew that this wasn't even gonna be a blind buy and I really liked it, but just smelling it again, I mean, this is, I'm gonna say even, you know, 9.5 territory uh, as far as rating goes. The presentation, I'm gonna say probably a nine out of 10. I really do like the presentation. I think it's unique. And you guys know me, I have hundreds of fragrance bottles in my collection, and this one is definitely by far one of the most unique. They probably didn't need to make his butt this big, but, uh, you know, to each their own. So it's sort of a, yeah, an interesting armless dude. 
I would 100% recommend this. And yes, it's being, you know, labeled as an NPC fragrance. You know, it's kind of labeled as, oh, all the teenagers, you know, with their perm hair, hairdos, you know, they all like this uh, Lamal elixir. They all kind of gravitate toward the Lamal, the JPG fragrances. But honestly, it's kind of for a reason. They're really good. They're very solid fragrances. They're decently affordable. You know, they're kind of a little more on the pricey side. Definitely not niche, but you know, they're on the pricier side of designer fragrances. But I think they're probably worthy of their price point. So I'm happy with it. Even though I paid, you know, well over a hundred bucks, even at a discounter, this is pretty darn solid. So I would recommend checking it out. If you don't already own one of the Lamal ones, I would also look into uh, Ultramal. Ultramal is very nice. It's a little bit more unisex, but if you want something kind of sweet and seductive, good for going out, then this whole Lamal line is going to be pretty darn solid, especially Elixir and Ultramal. Uh, Lamal Le Parfum also, um, but I think I like this one and Ultramal probably the best out of all of the, uh, the Lamal series by Jean-Paul Gaultier. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Of course, yes, I'm gonna put the links in the description if you wanna pick up a bottle. Um, I would probably go for maybe the 50 mil because this is gonna last you forever, especially if you're a collector. Um, so they do have a 50 mil, but it's not that much more expensive to get the 100, so I just picked up the 100. Let me know what you guys think. Which one's your favorite of the Lamal series um, by Jean-Paul Gaultier? So yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.